What's up everyone? My name is Jason Turley and today we are back with more over the wire war game challenges. Last time we were looking at the bandit war game which taught introductory Linux commands and today we'll be looking at Leviathan which is another war game that they provide to increase your Linux skills. You can see this is a 1 out of 10 difficulty and there's 8 levels in total and you can see those on the left hand panel right here. So the description, this war game doesn't require any knowledge about programming, just a bit of common sense and some knowledge about basic Nix commands. And we learned all that from the Bandit series. We had no idea that it'd be this hard to make any interesting war game that wouldn't require programming abilities from the players. Hopefully we made an interesting challenge for the new ones. Just like last time, we can access the level at Leviathan that labs at over the wire that org through SSH on port 2223 and the username and password is both Leviathan zero. Data for the levels can be found in the home directories. You can look at Etsy Leviathan pass for the various level passwords. Go over to my terminal SSH Leviathan zero at Leviathan that labs and over the wire. Y you can see it auto completed for me. I was playing around a little bit earlier. So I have this command typed up and ready to go. Enter. Paste in my password, Leviathan zero. And we're in. Clear the screen with control L, LS. It looks empty, but what if I do LS type A? I get dot backup directory, dot bash logout, dot bash rc, and then dot profile. So these latter three files, they all have to do with our bash configuration. So it's not really necessary for this level. So what if I cd into dot backup, ls tech al, lowercase l. We get bookmarks.html file. We can see that it's huge right here. So I probably don't wanna just cat this out to my screen. It's gonna clutter my terminal and I'm not really gonna be able to keep track of anything. So if I just wanna look at one page at a time, if I want less output on the screen, I can say less and bookmarks.html. Hit enter. And now I just get that one page at a time. And if I wanna scroll down, I hit the space bar. So we can see a bunch of data tables. That's, a, that's what the DT means in the beginning. And then ahref is just a bunch of hyperlinks. So we're scrolling and we don't see anything immediately pop out at, at us on the screen. It kind of all looks like nonsense. So I want to search this file. Um, Control F does not work, but I can hit forward slash and you can see that appears in the lower left corner. And now I can start typing. I'm guessing you want a password, right? That's the whole purpose of these war games. You learn some Linux and then you find the password. So I'm guessing there's something called password in this file. Hit enter and we get a few hits. We get password us, the HTML. This will be fixed later. The password for Leviathan one is Rio GG. <laughs> So let me just copy this. Let me make a credential file. Then creds that text, Leviathan zero, their password was just Leviathan zero. Leviathan one, that's their password. Save that. Man, I love using Tmux. Okay, I'm a little bit curious, if, is this even a real link? What if I just copy this? and throw it into Firefox. Uh, it didn't copy. Come on. Is this a thing? No, it's not a thing. Click here. There's no information for this level. There's no information for this level. That's fine. We're on our own. We have the password. So let's SSH, let's exit out of this first. 
Now let's SSH Leviathan 1. Grab their password. And paste it in. LS type A. Oh. We get check, and this is an executable. It's set UID because it's highlighted in this color, and we can tell we'll be the Leviathan 2 user when we run it. Just to confirm, let's say file check, set UID 32 bit, least significant bit executable, and then a bunch of other stuff we don't really need. So if I say check, I get a prompt, it says password, please sub. Wrong password, goodbye. Okay, so this program, we run it and it waits for us to enter a password. And if we do not enter the correct password, we get this message. So I'm guessing if we enter the correct password, it'll print out a congratulation message and then the actual password to get to the next level. So how do we how do we figure that out? Um, this is a program, and programs use code libraries, right? Instead of doing everything from scratch, you might have certain library calls. And if this is an executable, it was probably written in the C programming language. And C has a function called string compare. So if I want to see if that's the case here, I can use a program called ltrace, library trace and then pass in the program as input. So now we, we see this, printf password. That's the same prompt that we had right here. And then get care. So get a character, get one character from standard input. That's what the zero means. Zero is input, one is standard output, and two is standard error. And then we get some memory addresses. So it's waiting for me to enter something. I'm just gonna say hello and then hit enter. We get two more get care calls and then we see string compare. So we see three calls in total to get care. So it reads the first three letters of what I entered. So I just get H-E-L and then it compares it with the true password, S-E-X. So if I run this again, check and type in S-E-X, I get a shell. I can say ID, I can say who am I, I'm Leviathan2. Let me exit out of this. So it only checked the first three characters. So what happens if I say like Sexton? It still works, I still get a shell. Now this is like a dummy shell. I don't have tab complete. So I want like Leviathan pass and that's not working. So clear the screen real quick. If I wanna make this a better shell, a better terminal, I can use Python. Confirm that I have it. So Python, text C for compile, import PTY, and then PTY.spawn, bin bash. Give me the bash shell, the bash terminal. You can see that my prompt changed. You can say, who am I? ID. I'm still the, Vi the Viathan 2. Nothing has changed. I just have a better terminal. So I can say cat, etsy, leviathan, and now it auto-completes with tab. And then give me leviathan 2's password, please. Sweet. So that was awesome. That was fun. Um, I'm going to call quits right there. I'm in the video. I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you found a different or better or faster way to solve any of these challenges. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.